Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem consecutive XOR from starter 73 of code shift. So the problem states that chef has an array A of length n and he can perform the following operations on A. So he can select any index i which is a valid index and not, is not the last index of the array and, a, and select an integer x <coughs> such that x, x should be greater than or equal to 1 and should be less than 2, 2 to the power 20. Then he selects a, uh, then he makes ai equal to ai xor x and ai plus 1 equal to ai plus 1 xor x. In this way he can perform as many operations as he, as he wants. At the end what he wants is that all the elements in the array should be equal. So let's, uh, let's try to draw some conclusions on it and let's try to understand how to solve it. So over here what you can say is that let's say this is my array given to me these are all the elements a1 a2 a3 a4 a a5 right so what what we are doing is we are selecting any i and then performing the operation that ai is equal to ai xor x and aj is a i plus 1 rather is equal to ai plus 1 xor x now i make a claim over here what i say is that if n is odd right then a certain uh, then always these conditions would get satisfied like at the end i can make all the elements equal to equal to the same element now how can i do that so one thing i can say is that if i even start from this element or let, uh, yeah let's let me start from this element in uh, in particular if i'm xor it by a1 itself by the same element so i'll have to xor this element by the same element as well yeah i can do that cool so th uh, then let's say this element becomes some other figure let's say this becomes p right so this becomes p now p is present over here now what i'll do is i'll exhort this by p because i'm exhorting this by p i'll have to exhort this also by p right so this would also become zero so right now this is zero this is zero now this let's say this becomes some other element q now since this is q i can exhort this by q and i also have to exhort this by q then so this now becomes zero because q xor q would be zero. Uh, okay, yeah. So this becomes zero, and this becomes some other figure. Let's say uh, r, right? So now what we are left with? Let me draw it again. It's getting comes over there. So zero zero zero, and then you have r and a f, right? So now what I can do is I can ag again xor it with r. So and I have to xor this with r r as well because the x element needs to be xor to all the uh, like. To the consecutive uh, to the consecutive indexes right so this would now become zero and this would become let's say any value it becomes any value let's say s right so the final array i'm having is zero zero and s now what i can say is that i can pick any two so the state uh, the operation is that i can pick any two integers uh, indices which are consecutive or basically i can pick i and i plus one and xor them with something right so now let's say I exhort them with this. So uh, both of them become S. Now I pick these two indices. Uh, these two indices I exhort them with S. So now even th these become S. At the end, I'm having all the elements similar, right? But this property would only hold in case the n is odd, right? If n is odd, then this would hold, because when n is odd, you will ha you are having the last element set to some non-zero or this could be zero or might not be zero so let's say uh, it is set to some value s right and then you sub uh, like the remaining array has n minus one elements so you need n minus one to be even only then you can select pairs of them right only then you will be in a, in a position to select pairs of them and make all of them equal to s so i guess uh, odd is pretty clear now let's talk about even so what if the count is even so in case the count is even then uh, what we can say is that i'll say, uh, still perform the same operation so let's say now we have a array a1 a2 a3 a4 so i'll again perform the same operations i'll make it a1 i'll make it i'll have to like do a1 over here as well right then uh, this would become some element let's say p now i'll exhort it by p i'll have to exhort this also by p cool so now this would also become zero right and this would become let's say q now i'll exhort it by q and i'll exhort it by q right so at the end I'm i'll be left with the same thing zero 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 and something s right but now 
I cannot make every element equal to s. So the only possibility wherein this would work is the if s is equal to zero. If s is equal to zero, then all the elements have the uh, have the, have the same value. If s is, s is not equal to zero, then I can simply uh, simply say that it's not possible. And since we have only had had to tell that if the operations are possible or not, this would definitely work. Uh, let's go to the uh, code. So in the code, what you can say that if n is equal, to, uh, if n is odd, then I'm directly printing yes. If n is one, so n is uh, n is one is always be yes. So I'm just taking this uh, like special case over here. You can actually ignore it, and the code will still work fine. After that, I'm performing that operation that my vi is equal to vi uh, xor vi minus one. So if you want to change it, you can actually write it like this. If you want to like copy the exact way they have. Done in the question, you can actually do this. Cool. Yeah, so this would also work. At the end, what I'm checking is all the elements, all elements should be zero. Now there are multiple ways. Uh, multiple ways could, we could have done it. I'm simply storing them in a set, and at the end, I'm taking the uh, like the unique uh, unique number of elements. So the set only contain unique unique elements. So the size of a set is actually the number of unique elements that is contained. I hope that made sense. So, so I'm checking if the size is one, then I'm printing yes. If the size is not one, then I'm printing no. So yeah, that's it for uh, for this question. I think this was a simple question, but yeah, uh, like took some. T it also took me, uh, took me some time to make, uh, come out with this observation. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any doubts or you want me to make any other video, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot, guys.